So the project I've got to deal with right now is wrapping these posts. There are seven four befores. The wife hates that they're white and she hates that they're skinny. So instead of uh, ripping them out and buying six by sixes, I'm just gonna wrap them with some two by lumber and see how that goes. I've got to do some landscaping out here too. Now, uh, Neil Coke from Dig Drive DIY would definitely not be okay with the way I've got this looking at the moment. So I've got to try to rise to his standard. So I've got quite the little trailer load of wood here. And wouldn't you know it, I was at Lowe's picking up some two by eights just like this. I picked up one off to the side and I twisted pinched a nerve in my back and it uh, killed every project I had planned for about two weeks. I'm, uh, I'm back in good shape again. Now if I'm lucky I'm gonna get some straight wood when I'm done out of all this uh, Lowe's lumber. We get rid of that factory edge. Safety squints if you have them. Earplugs if you got them. There we go. Magic number is going to be 94 and a half inches. Oh, it's just barely going to work. I'm going to be scrapping off about an inch and a half off every eight foot board. If you've never seen one of these Hercules type miter saws from Harbor Freight, they've got what they call a shadow line. And it's kind of cool. You can see exactly what the blade is going to remove before you start your cut. I like the range of motion this thing has too. You can cut something about 16 inches wide, almost. All right. There's where I want it. Well, since I'm going to be wrapping this around a four by four. I'm going to have to trim some up with the table saw. But you can get an idea like this. So I'm going to be losing about five eighths of an inch. Just a rough guess. Now there is a scale down here I can use. I'm a little bit too paranoid to try it. But let's see what I come up with. I'm looking for six inches and seven sixteenths right there. If I lock it down, let's see what I've got up here. Now see, the outside of the blade would have worked, but I need to account for the kerf, so I'm going to have to slide it up about an eighth inch. Now that should get it. Now the situation I have is the factory edge has a round over and now I've got sharp corners. So we'll have to hit this through the router. Now these are great if you don't have enough hands. 
Highly recommended. All right, this has been designated as my test post. I'm gonna wrap this one, see if the wife likes it before I cut everything else up. And again, handy clamps. Got a six pack of these off Evor for about 30 bucks, worth every penny. Eventually the goal here is for this to be entirely screened in. That's a dream of the wife's. I like the idea. I just don't like the uh, thought of going through all the work to do it. Like they say, you got to do what you got to do. Need to give that top a squeeze. Wife is home. About time to see if she's gonna love it or list it. Now this is going to look really good once it's stained. All right, that's the easy two. I've got flower pots and decor over there. I've got to take those down. Then I've got to take the gutters off. Cut the new pipes. And then I'll wrap the ends too. Here's the up close shot. About enough gap to put a business card under. And the sides are square. Here's the back side. I still have to put one on the inside. These gaps here will disappear when I put a screw right there oh yeah getting closer
little one works better going side to side. The big one looks better closing the gap. There it is, all put back together, fully wrapped on all sides, downspouts reattached. Well, it feels good to check off another item on the wife's to-do list, pretty big list. Now I've got to wait a little while and then I'll put some stain on these. We've been using a Valspar Canyon Brown stain on a lot of things around here. We really like it. So I'll give it some time to dry out and I'll put that on. Goodness critters. So it probably would have been cheaper knock out the four befores and put in six by sixes but I don't think it would have been easier it might have been even cheaper but I'll put the price on screen of what I paid for 14 two by fours and 14 two by eights will you quit but if you made it this far I'm glad you didn't get bored I appreciate you taking time to watch it and that's all I have for this video and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Gotta cut this downspout so uh, 